By the way, I saw the movie Big Sonia a few days ago. It's about a woman who had been uh, in the concentration camps here in the Holocaust, a Jewish woman, um, a victim of the Holocaust who, uh, who survived, but most of her relatives died. And uh, she's telling her story and they show her going to different events here in the United States, like school uh, uh, auditoriums, talking to students, and other presentations. Re you know, just reliving her experiences. Um, although the obviously the topic is very sad and tragic, they managed to keep it entertaining and somewhat some lighthearted moments to break up, break it up a little bit between the, uh, you know, the, the dark retelling and uh, sad moments that you can see in her eyes when she relives it. And uh, I do this review as a movies for movie review for Christians and encourage people to pray the movies. And. Uh, for us as Christians, we should consider Jewish people our, our fellow brothers and sisters, even though they're not in Christ. They are part of the Judeo-Christian uh, heritage, part of our heritage. And uh, yes, we hope that they'll become Jews for Jesus or Messianic Jews, but we also just... Uh, also have to love them as they are right now, right here, and also, you know, know the history of the Holocaust, because one of the fears of those who survived the Holocaust, and they're still with us, but getting very old in age now, and the fear, of, the fear for all of us should be is that history will be rewritten, because, you know, there are Holocaust deniers, and they talk about that in the movie as well. And, uh, if we don't keep telling the history to younger people, especially when they get a first-hand account from somebody like Sonia, it really helps, you know, carry on. You want to keep the story story alive, also, like in like the oral tradition, so that these young people in schools will will know it for a fact and be able to retell it to others as well, so that keeps it alive as well. Why do we want to keep it alive? Why do we want to make sure the truth of, this, of, of what happened keeps being told? Well, uh, so that history won't repeat itself, number one. Uh, number two, to learn about how evil can infiltrate the world. So, I mean, this was not that many years ago, really, only so many decades ago. This is not like ancient history. I mean, you would think that it's impossible for something like that to happen today, but it could, you know. And there's other ana analogous possibilities that could rise up. You know, we got other things with Muslims and uh, still a lot of anti-Semitism around the world. Anti-Christian. A lot of per Christians being persecuted, so we, we can learn from that. And uh, we should have sympathy and concern for our Jewish brothers and sisters. Um, and pray for them, and pray for their, uh, pray for them as just as, as they are, and also for their conversion to Christ, to be saved, before it's too late. And I'll leave it at that for now. Big Sonia, it's a documentary, um, and worth watching. So I'll be with you all. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah.